three, uh, San Francisco just held a hearing on uh, reparations for you know, decades of, of institutional uh, racism. And, um, you know, other cities and states are considering, uh, you know, impaneling similar commissions. D.C. is one of them. Where does this administration stand on reparations for um, slavery and segregation and similar uh, historic wrongs? Uh, specifically pertaining to black Americans? So look, uh, we understand that there's a legislation on the Hill currently uh, on this on the study of uh, reparations, pardon me, and we think Congress is the uh, the appropriate venue for considera consideration on such action. Uh, and so we're going to leave it there for Congress to decide to let them go through their process uh, that they're taking at this moment. But I would I would lay out uh, and speak to what the president has done over the last two years. When he came into office, he talked about the different crises that this country is dealing with, and one of them was racial equity uh, and racial equality and fighting for that uh, for, uh, for communities like the, the, the black community. And one of the things that he did right away, straight away in the beginning of his administration, is he signed an executive order uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, made sure that across the, across the governor, government that we had an approach that dealt with inequality, that we had that made sure that, um, uh, that, that uh, political appointees in, in those agencies uh, put that any, put that equality lens as they were moving forward with dealing with policy. And so that's in, that's important in, in really getting to the root uh, of, uh, of that issue. Clearly that's on the federal level. And, um, and just last month he issued a second order reaffirming the administration's commitment to deliver on that equity. Uh, so the president has shown his commitment. He's spoken uh, to this issue that, uh, that uh, in particular, this black the black community has to deal with for generations upon generations. So he uh, is going to continue to lift that up. But as it relates to the legislation, uh, we, are, we want to leave that in the hands of Congress. 